Our C-motion Cinefade Vary ND consists of two circular polarizers, one which is motorized to rotate and one which remains static. Place them into the mat box individually or preferably connect them together using the connector pins and magnets. Place the Vary ND into the mat box, making sure the filters are orientated correctly. There are laser engraved markings on the filters indicating the side that should be facing towards the camera and the side that should be facing towards the subject. I'm going to attach the CPRO motor to the iris, which also doubles as the wireless receiver. If you have a second motor, attach this to the focus. The focus motor is only necessary for lens mapping and can be removed afterwards if you prefer to focus with your own lens control system. If you don't have a focus motor, a workaround solution can be found in the user manual. Next, we're going to daisy chain the motors together. There are various ways of doing this and I'm going to use an angled L bus to L bus cable to connect the very ND with the C force motor. A short L-Bus cable connects the C-Force motor to the C-Pro motor. From the C-Pro motor, we need to connect to a power source, which can be either via a DTAP or RS cable, but since we're using an Alexa Mini, I can plug directly into the Mini's L-Bus connector, which also enables camera control. Once connected to power, the Vary ND will automatically calibrate and set itself to position of maximum light transmission at ND 